a couple of brindled wildebeest who get their name from an Afrikaans word for wild beast. Also sometimes known as new, G and new, after a new, new sound they sometimes make. About once a year, a herd of about 1.5 million wildebeest will band together for about a thousand miles. African tribe that was able to domesticate them. They're actually the only domesticated animal we'll see out here on the reserve. Those giant horns may look pretty heavy, but believe it or not, they only weigh about five to ten pounds apiece. Our friends out to our right, a couple of Maasai giraffe. I actually see our baby giraffe out there, little Humphrey. He's about ten months old with this drone. He is the newest member of our tower. friends, off to our right, I'm actually seeing an African elephant or two. We can tell they're African elephants because of much larger ears. They can also have the continent of Africa, as well as two little fingers on the end of the trunk. Their cousin, the Asian elephant, have much smaller ears and only one little finger on the trunk. Now we'll get back to them in just a moment, because off to our left, I'm actually seeing well known for their incredible speed, reaching top speeds of about 65 plus miles per hour. All friends on our right, a couple of ostrich as well as some southern white rhino. The ostrich we can tell are female because they have dark gray feathers. Males would have sleek black feathers. Believe it or not. And we'll get that 5,000 pounds up to almost 35 miles per hour. Is it any wonder a group of them is known as a crash, a crash of rhino. You can actually see one of our younger rhino there, that's Little Ranger. At, but he's not so little anymore, at just about a year old, he's already well over 1,700 pounds. 